So now let's take a look at the hardware layout here and how everything is connected for this basic BMS. So starting with the Arduino on the left hand side here, we have several outputs that the microcontroller needs to control in terms of the relays, which is below shown below the Arduino, and then the resistors. And we have our voltage sensors in the center lower portion here with our batteries in the center upper portion. Now, starting with the relay control, we have here shown with one line a digital out, which is going to the in one. So what this does is it controls the first relay switch, which turns on and off the resistor going to the first battery here. And we only have one line shown here, but actually we have several digital outs going to each of the in ones in two and so on in three which control each of the relays and the way that works is the arduino sends a control to the relay to turn on and off the switch inside of each relay so we can see what happens when we turn the first relay on so here's one side of the relay i'll highlight this line it's going to the one side of the resistor and then the other side is, of the resistor is going to the negative side of the first battery. The positive side of the first battery is coming back here, looping through, and going to the other part of this normally open relay. So when this, these two lines are connected and this relay is closed, these two lines here, let's get green, these two lines are connected, essentially right here is bridged and then we start to drain the current flows out of the first battery and through the first resistor making a current loop discharging the first battery we would need to do this let's say if this was the highest charge battery at 4.2 volts while the other two batteries were below 4.2 volts the way we tell the voltage of each battery is through these voltage sensors and let's go over the connections for these. So each of the voltage sensors is has the VCC in, which we'll trace here. It goes to the positive side for the first battery. And this tells us the voltage of this point relative to ground. So this voltage sensor has these four connections. You actually don't have to cook up this ground on the large end of the terminal. You only need to cook up this end to ground over on the right side, which is the smaller connection. And then we have the signal here, which I'll do in orange. The signal line, let's trace that through, goes to the A0, the analog input zero of the Arduino. And what this voltage sensor does is it sends the voltage of the positive terminal of the first battery to the Arduino at the analog input A0. Now let's talk about the charger and how that is connected and disconnected from the circuit. So over here I've drawn in the charger circuit and on the positive lead here we have this connected to the seventh relay in our eight relay bank. And when we want to activate the charger we close this relay which then allows current to flow through the charger to the positive terminal of the three series batteries through the negative. So we get current flowing through and charging up our batteries. And every time we want to disconnect the charger, we just send a command from the Arduino to open this relay and stop the flow of current. Now it's time to talk about the overall strategy we're going to use here to charge these three batteries, but balance them throughout the charge. So what we want to do is while we're less than any cell being 4.1 volts to give ourselves a little bit of margin, let's say our goal is to charge each cell to 4.1 volts. While any cell is less than 4.1 volts, we want to keep the charger at 12.3 volts, which is going to keep charging these batteries. Now, once we hit one of these cells being 4.1 volts, then we want to disconnect the charger, open this seventh relay up here, and we want to discharge whichever cell 
or cells are the highest. And we want to discharge those to the lowest cell. So for example, let's say B2 is at 4.0 volts, while B1 is at 4.1 volts, and B3 is also at 4.0 volts. So what we want to do now is we want to bring this highest voltage cell, B1, down to 4.0 volts. And the way we do that is we send a signal from Arduino to activate the relay one here. And what that will do is start to pass current through this R1 and discharge this B1 close to the 4.0 volts. Once we get this B1 down to near 4.0 volts to match with the other two cells, then we reconnect the charger circuit and continue charging. And this will more evenly balance the cells now. Now they still may not all get to 4.10 at the same time, but we use the same process. And once one cell gets to 4.10 volts, again, then we disconnect the charger circuit and discharge through either R1, R2, R3, whichever resistor will correspond to draining the highest charged cell. We continue this process until we get within a close threshold to our goal for each cell, our goal terminal voltage of charge. And in this case, we pick 4.10 to prolong the life of the cells instead of bringing them up each to 4.20. So let's say our threshold is 0 0.02 volts, right? So once we get within this 4.1 volts, so that would be 4.08 to 4.12 would be our threshold for any cell. Once we get to here, we can terminate our charge and we are done. And this is generally, I would say, 0.02 volts is in with, within good reason to keep the cells in good charge and utilize the full state of charge and the full charge of each battery. One last thing to mention here is that we don't have to worry so much about the discharge. So let's say we finish charging and each cell is approximately 4.10 volts, plus or minus 0.02 volts. Throughout the discharge, even cells that are fairly unbalanced shouldn't get too far out of balance throughout that single discharge. And then when we charge again, we repeat the process. And we don't have to do a full depth of discharge, which oftentimes on an e-bike, you might not do a full depth of discharge. That's all for the hardware layout overview. And now we've covered the basic integration of these four components and how we can use them to balance each cell on the charge.